Thursday morning. So I got up around 10 to 6. Look, at, this is where we're staying. We have a villa. It's just so nice. Kind of, it's a little bit. Reminds me of Key West. It's got kind of a lazy vibe and not not well manicured too much and just kind of plants everywhere. It really feels nice except for these weird ice cream ball looking plants. It's kind of a strange... Whoa. Oh, buckskin paint job. What is that? You know, for a mirror or something? <laughs> I have no idea how to get out of here. Anyway, this is just to give you guys a little bit of morning in Rome feeling. I miss my wife so bad right now. It's aching. Been gone almost two weeks, almost a half a month. Sounds like a long time to say it like that. As she would say, as she would say, I was being dramatic. But look at what a place to be dramatic. How dramatic is that? I mean, those guys are like all they have to do is just hold up that building and they have to be all dramatic and naked and. Cars are out there, but I'm not sure how to get out there. I don't know if there's a trick to this. Ah, oh, this, this is weird. Yeah, I don't know. Look at this. Yeah, I don't know how to get out of here. Caged in. There's got to be a way to open this. It just goes against. But if there's a fire, that's what my dad would say. My dad would trip on some of the stuff out here. There's nothing in there. Isn't there supposed to be a keypad? Like, what is it? You can't get out of here? No, there's no way. for getting out of here. Well, it's about five to seven and I'm kind of stuck now. The, the villa, they give us like one key and the door latches closed even when it's like not locked or something. So I can't get back in there because the one key is in there. The one key has to be in the wall so that you can have electricity. And then I can't get out the front door. And then the manager's not here. Mike's asleep. Now I'm getting a little agitated. All I want to do is walk around, and now I'm stuck staring at this, which is actually pretty cool. But that's about what's going on. Got to get the key situation situated. So here's the weird side of having a villa. <laughs> it's not like a hotel where you can just walk out. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> it's complicated. Very cool, though. That's a candle operas in the gardens. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just kind of yank that door till it opens. There you have it. Welcome to Rome. Look at that. Wow. 
It was warm yesterday, but it's cool this morning. So this is like the five point corner behind our hotel. Everybody kind of see. Very different than Paris. Very relaxed. And it's, uh, it's got a, a combination of very old architecture and new architecture. There's a lot of new modern buildings in the midst of all this, which I didn't really see much at all. In Paris, was, everything was pretty much old. Here, stuff is super old. And then there's like the regular old stuff that's in Paris. And then there's like a lot of new stuff too. Um, I don't know what, what that's all about, but uh, it's definitely a different vibe. Now somebody said that the the people in Italy are are just as rude as <laughs> this is what somebody said in Paris, and this was a guy from from France. He said, "Oh yeah," he says Italian people are are just as rude as French people, especially to Americans. He says, "But but you won't know." It. He says, "Cause they'll smile on their face and be all nice to you, and then make fun of you when you turn around." He says, "In France, they'll just make fun of you to your face." It's kind of like the New Yorker thing. So I don't know. But so far everybody has been very, very sweet. So even if it's phony, it's still more pleasant <laughs> than some of the holes <laughs> we had to deal with. I mean, waiters with attitudes. It's like, dude, get it, well, get a life. You're a waiter. <laughs> you get over yourself, man. Just bring me the salt. It's not that complicated. There's that little pizza place that we got pizza from last night, which was there. It's no longer there. How you doing? Everybody thinks I'm an idiot walking around with a camera. That's it. So this is the little square behind our house. There's not a whole lot's going on. Europeans are not morning people, I would say, as a whole. I've noticed that. And for some reason, I've been getting up at like... 10 to 6 every single morning. See in the middle of all of this, look what's down there. A shell sign, like a regular old gas station sign. It's really weird amalgamide. Amalgamide? Amalgamy? Amalgamide. Amalgamide. It was just a blend. It was a weird blend of styles. Honey, it's just a style. Mary snack bar. It's like in English. I don't know, but I was walking by there. I didn't even know it was there, and I smelled something so awesome. And I walked in, and it's like a pastry shop, and it smells so good in there. And man, I'm telling you, everybody was really, really polite and really nice and warm. It feels, it feels good, man. This is a trip. Look at these cars, man. Whoa. It's called a smart car. And you're really smart if you own it, unless you're getting a head-on collision with a Mack truck. Then it's called the not-so-smart car. Anyway, I'm walking back. I don't know what I'm going to do. Mike's asleep. Anyway, you guys are getting the morning. It's the morning show. But this is it, man. Beautiful Roma. <laughs>